gonna be a breeze, yo. Everyone else in exams while we're having a trip. Yeah, so, please. So what? Yeah, it's not exactly what I'm told, is it, Sonia? No, it's better. Whatever. Serious, man, whatever, we'll right, laugh? Do you think so? Because that's not what Miss Mason told my mum and dad. Yeah, well, Mason don't know what I know. And what's that? We're going Castle Ash for Nick, right? Yeah, so. Sure. Well, Dad always reckoned Castle was the cushiest Nick of the lot. This is gonna be a breeze, man. Will your dad be there? Nah, he's been moved, innit? Safe. But he always said Castle was the place to be. It's a seriously easy stretch. I'm telling you, there's nothing that Mason can show me in there. Nothing. Hi. I've changed my mind. Our Bolton's not going on this trip. Uh, right. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to take that up with Miss Mason. Right. I'm telling you, prison's a doddle. That's not what my uncle Dermot said. Yeah, but he's a mentalist. <laughs> Dad's Nick's got a gym, TV room, pool table. So is uh, your dad like the top dog then? Of course. I don't call him that. You've seen too many films. Look, he's going on the trip with us. Right. Can you get them? Need the keys, sir. <laughs> Alec, get in quick. It's really late. You've got exams this morning. Yes. Well, you better get a move on then, haven't you? Come on. Bolton. Bolton, can you unlock the door, please? Bolton, can you unlock the... He's just too excited. I mean, he thinks it's going to be a holiday, you know, where he can muck about. I know, but that's what he thinks about everything, Candice. I mean, that's the whole purpose of the trip. Well, I don't care. I don't want him to go. Fine. Fine. But at least tell me the real reason, because I know... I know that Bolton's dad's in prison. It might be. It might not be. That's what I tell Bolton to uh, stop him asking questions. I don't know where his dad is, and I, I don't want him to know where we are. I, I thought, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But this Christmas, when, uh, when he entered a word from his dad, I found myself making all these excuses. And I think this, this trip, I think it might be just bringing up too much for him. Tell him the truth. No. I, I just don't think that it's doing Bolton any favours, pussyfooting around him. He has got serious behavioural problems. No, I'm, I'm to blame, eh? Blame parents. Yeah. And I blame the school. And I blame society. And I'll blame Gordon Brown. If it'll make you feel any better, Candice, we can play this blame game all day if you want to. OK. OK, you can go. You will not regret that. And I think you'll find some serious improvement. They've locked me out of the minibus. I'm sorry, Rachel, I never They could have been worse. They could have decided to drive off. I thought we'd have got the keys. I've got the spare set, eh? Out. <laughs> I said, get out! Do <laughs> so you think it's funny? You were laughing. Well, I'm not! Do you know what everyone said in the staff room when they heard that you were visiting a prison? They said, best place for them. And lo and behold, before you even leave the school, you are proving them right! Fine. Where are you going? Home. How much point in me being here if you're off it comes such a waste of space, is the lads? No, you're quite right. There's absolutely no point in you being here unless you change your behaviour. That's what I keep saying. So I'll make you a deal. I'm listening. You can drop out. But only after you've been on this trip. And if you still think that school's a waste of your time after that, then I'm off your case. Is that a deal? Deal. Get in then. All of you, get back in. <laughs> Cheer up. We'll win this one. <laughs> 